In 2004, one of the most powerful earthquakes hit the Indian Ocean. Even still, the people of Indonesia carried on their day as if nothing had happened. Within hours, a quarter of a million people would lose their lives from the incoming tsunami. Now, experts agree that had a tsunami detection system been in place, there would have been ample time to prevent the massive loss of life. Today, we face the same problem in prostate cancer care. An irresponsible number of people are dying, and it's because of ineffective detection. I am developing a new system to improve prostate cancer detection. 40% of prostate cancer patients get recurring disease, meaning the cancer comes back after initial treatment, and typically the comeback can be very aggressive. It is known that if prostate cancer is treated earlier, the therapeutic has a better effect. However, current clinical tools lack the sensitivity needed to detect the cancer before it's too late. So the longer it remains undetected, the less effective the current medication becomes. Therefore, there is a clinical need for new tools, such as imaging agents, to help better assess the location and extent of recurring prostate cancer. My research aims to create a new imaging agent, which is a molecule administered directly to the patient that can track down the cancer in a non-invasive and accurate manner. To do this, I searched for a strategy that uses a prostate cancer-specific target for the imaging agent to find and does not require clinics to purchase any new equipment, making it really translational. Prostate cancer can be targeted for earlier detection through the use of unique biomarkers. These biomarkers are genes that are elevated in their expression only in the prostate cancer, not in healthy cells, and can be tracked down by the imaging agent. My imaging agent targets a specific biomarker called PEG-10 and generates a detectable signal at the cancer site. The strategy uses equipment currently established in the clinics. My imaging agent can track down the cancer either before it metastasizes or early in its metastasis process so that we can catch it while it's still responsive to medication. My research has the potential to improve survival outcomes of tens of thousands of men a year in the US alone through early detection using current equipment. When the tsunami hit Indonesia in 2004, there was nothing that could be done to stop the wave from coming. But a good detection system could have given people the opportunity to evacuate. Now, we don't have to let prostate cancer patients drown. We can help them ride the wave. Thank you.